Good morning, everyone. You're listening to Turtle Island News with Tracy Kennedy. Um, I have to apologize. My throat is a little raspy. I was up most of the night getting ready for today because there are incidents going on. Now, of course, I have to thank everyone, um, turtleislandnews.info, where the articles that I'm going to speak of are up and some that I won't speak of. They're there, too. I have to thank Revolution Radio, of course, Studio A. Um, I have too many windows open, so I won't be able to go over there right yet. But I love you guys, and know that I love you. Wolf Spirit Radio. Oh, by the way, guys, before I, I jump into this, it'll be a year on the 27th that... Um, our friend Dave Corso crossed the Rainbow Bridge. So I've been thinking of what I can do to um, honor him. My plan is to start a new show. I'll tell you guys that. It will most likely only be broadcast on TurtleIslandNews.info because I will be using bad words. <laughs> so... If you or anyone you know would like to um, put on their big boy pants or panties, I don't judge, whatever you want to come dressed in, come and see me, the first show that I will probably call Three Minutes to Midnight. And don't worry if um, that's an odd time for you. What I'm going to do is make sure this one is up, and of course, they're always available in the show archives. Okay, So we are going to have a Tourette show. And if you would like to call in and say any bad words or talk about, I don't know, just say a dirty limerick. Yes, Count, I will talk dirty to you. But not today. Although some of the stuff that I'm going to be mentioning is a little bit dirty. You know, just about, oh, and of course, good morning, Awake Radio Group. Thank you very much, and big love to Steve. We may go long today. I have so much to tell you that I need to be three people. But it's good, because I am at least three people, so we'll be fine. Now... There are events happening all over the United States. A string of shootings happening right now. As a matter of fact, a horrific shooting. Tennessee um, River Park in Chattanooga. Police officer officially down. Now a police officer was shot. Um, the shooting is at the Army recruiting center and a search is underway in a surrounding area for guess what da, 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 a lone gunman apparently now the first reports I've got is there were a couple guys and I did put up a link in the chat room so that you know when they change their minds and find the um well, lone gunman because it always will be a lone gunman right? Always we'll see what happens but no, there's events happening worldwide right now Tuesday I talked to you about the Manhattan Project that it wasn't just about the bomb although Nuclear has a lot to do with our atoms and the splitting and the separation and timelines, which we don't know really how long ago these things happened. But know that everything from GMOs to artificial intelligence was planned there. The dumbing down of the populace in general started after the First World War 
because people were thinking too independently. And we talked about that last week. We've talked about AI before, but I want to remind you of some things before we go into what Jade is and what it's for. I mentioned to you several years ago most of these things that are happening but you know I, I realized that I just sounded crazy pants when I said it and people you know t- tuned in to listen to me but they're thinking yeah none of these things can happen Tracy but the grid tests that have been increasing the violent actions now of course some of them are people who do just snap but notice know that it is a computer this is an AI that has a system of all the frequencies harp harp is it's ridiculous because they can use your computer guys they don't even need that anymore they don't need those machines anymore they can beam it directly into your head because we're all wired if you have any modern equipment in your house it is wired for the purpose of triggering people and some of the actions going on right at this moment powerful strategic even turning on and off the grids all over the United States Canada and our beautiful world the reactions happening in Greece right now the reactions happening in seven or eight different places in Africa right now these events are being triggered by a machine Now, if we go back to the Terminator franchise, that the world-dominating artificial intelligence, Skynet, became self-aware. And shortly after realizing its own existence, April 19, 2011, it decides to liberate humans. launching an attack that wipes out a big chunk of humanity. Survivors end up fighting a war against Skynet and its occasionally naked Terminator killing machines in the years afterwards via time travel. Although this was all supposed to happen back in the 90s anyway sure science fiction oh and by the way if anyone wants to uh, apply for the position of that naked um, house cleaning (laughs) position and I am not a nudity zombie you can wear chaps and a little bow tie the position is still available for those seeking employment. <laughs> Anywho, supercomputers faster and faster. In 2011, IBM wowed television audiences with one that could recognize language in the exact same way you do. Search engines, huge treasure troves of data with companies using that data in ever more creative and diabolical ways. Algorithms that predict our behavior. Think back to Apple's genius system and software. These are all commonplace. This we know. This is not fantasy. They are more sophisticated with every iteration. We have talked about these things. That we had already breached a point and it had already been spoken of when 
we would move so quickly that sentience is the only the only thing that could have happened what if it's already here Skynet perhaps not the world destroying network with its devastating glory but a computational engine that's at the fringe of all of our current technology which is why the technology is rolling out so you can get it in your house needling only a slight push at this point a couple lines of code get on the world and on the road to becoming the world's all-seeing mechanical overlord there is a reason why the new Aquaman has talked about the return of the king and the return of the five the five is the hand of the king and there's the phi again this is the penta this is the new particle new interestingly enough that's still coming out of the same groups CERN found a new particle called the penta that is the five and there's no shortage of examples of bleeding edge computing tech but few would think that they have the goods to really turn into a, a powerful force, right? It would have to be extreme. It would have to be able to learn. It would have to be able to evolve, reprogram itself. Hopefully some of you got a chance to watch the show I put on and told you about called Chappie. We've talked about these things before, of course. But this is the real deal, right? The history right now is actually a revision or a retcon to you nerds. There are five, interestingly enough, computers out there computer systems that absolutely have been linked five real systems that are Skynet and they are worldwide and they are active now and this is not new it is not just CERN it is not just the supercomputing powers this was all leading up to this very moment in time and this huge wave started again after the second world war but it started before again after the first world war just sowing the seeds of our enslavement not this enslavement that we've always had but a new massive one conquering the human realm has already happened it's not going to happen it's happened people are being triggered this we already know and yesterday well Tuesday I reported a major red list an alert because we have been made aware of planned power outages through California Nevada especially at that border that were set to happen on the exact same day Jade Helm one five and this time I'm separating the one and the five because it's the return of the king and the hand of the king yes I can play with numbers any way I want to na, 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 na. anyway it was slated to start yesterday and start woo 
baby. <laughs> On July 15th, we all woke to the news that AT&T, Comcast, Time Warner, and Cox were all showing service outages. And that happened across the country, but it also happened across the world. And on my page, we have a Verizon link and a map. Now, according to yesterday's alert, an important message was shared by Steve Quayle. And I know, love him or hate him, he comes up with some good information. And there are a lot of Christian brothers and sisters out there who do give a shasta. So, you know, I'm not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater on this one. I look at his site. Now, if your power and your phone lines go out, you will have no more need for alerts. Know that. Jade Helm will be used to carry out the White House kill list. The final judgment. It expands. And there are special alerts that go out to Texas. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to put this link up as well on the page. I think I forgot that one. I think so. I'm just um, putting it up on the page right now. In case you want to read later or re-listen, I will make sure this is archived so you guys can listen. But, with U.S. Special Forces now unleashing across America, not just the West Coast, but there's an entire another action going on on the East Coast and in Canada and, again, worldwide. It began at midnight, interestingly enough. It actually began at three minutes to, till midnight. which is why I'm going to be using that time for updates and I think if I can do that we'll start having a show more often at that time but anyway it awaited us in a short video that shares a citizen's report of strange events that recently happened in Amarillo, Texas just prior to the Jade Helm kickoff. In no anything with the J is a hook. That's why Jesus. This is why Julius Caesar. And an H is just the bridge. Keep that in mind. We have to look as we have been told about a 2011 Washington Post, a story called Top Secret America, and look at the military's Joint Special Operations Command. The group of Americans now spreading out throughout Texas, Florida, California, and much of the rest of especially the Southern and Southwest America. Meanwhile, we also learn that Jade Helm has been expanded beyond the original reported states to include Mississippi, Florida, and Louisiana. But exercises we know are being held, especially in the South. There's a reason for the South. Our brothers and sisters there are easily triggered. I'm sorry, but Cesar. And they have pushed you to the boiling point. I do not blame you for this. It's always been about this. It's always been about the AI. It's always been about the links I've told you about that had to do with the angels coming down the mountain. It goes back to Area 51. And there's been a constant barrage to attack the southern states. It's never stopped. 
Now, there is a Washington Post story that the one thing that Special Forces excels at is killing. We have been all trained up, ready to go. Killing people. We find out they've been using cell phones of their known targets to hunt people down and dispose of them. As many posts have told us, they are not trying to capture targets at this point. They want to eliminate them. And the President of the United States has given JSOC, the Rare Authority, to select individuals for the kill list. And then to kill rather than capture them. Critics charge that this individual man hunting mission mounts to assassination. Practice somewhat prohibited by your law. But one invitation is called the electronic dividing rod. It is a sensory worm used by commandos that could detect the location of a particular cell phone. The beeping gets louder as the soldier with the device gets closer to the person carrying the targeted cell phone. Now I know some of you have heard beeping lately. And a recent linked document is telling us that there are more than 238,000 U.S. veterans have died while waiting for health care. I hope that the entire chain of command of the JSOC know exactly who the real enemies are. And the real enemies are not the American people or any people of the country. Now sadly, the Post also told us that Special Forces often fail in finding the correct targets and many of their kills are the wrong person, like in Afghanistan, Iraq, and everywhere they are overseas. Now directly from the Washington Post, since 9-11 yeah, it's not new. Since 9-11, this secretive group of men, and yes, a few women, has grown tenfold while sustaining a level of obscurity that not even the CIA has managed. They are the dark matter. They are the force that orders the universe but can't be seen. A strapping Navy SEAL speaking on the conditions of his anonymity described his unit that way. SEALs are just a part of the U.S. Military Joint Special Operations Command. That is the acronym JSOC which has grown from a rarely used hostage rescue team into America's secret army. When members of this elite force killed Osama bin Laden in Pakistan in May, JSOC leaders celebrated not just the success of the mission, but also how few people knew that their command, based in Fayetteville, North Carolina, even existed. The president has given them the authority to select individuals for its kill list and kill not capture and despite the secrecy JSOC is not permitted to carry out covert actions as the CIA can covert action which the US role is also and often kept secret requires presidential finding and congressional notification. Many national security officers 
The officials, however, say their operations are so similar to the CIA that they amount to covert actions. This unit takes its orders directly from the President or the Secretary of Defense, most likely the Secretary of Defense who, in the chain of command, most likely has a higher position than Obama ever will. But it's managed and overseen by a military-only chain of command who most likely do not know each other. Now following up on a recent story, another red alert of the power center operation to begin. By the time your power and phone lights go out, it will be too late. We get a special alert, again from Steve Quayle, from a former police officer in Amarillo, Texas. And he's sharing strange events that took place around his home. He said he was woken up at four in the morning now this is the first night of, of well the early morning of Jade Helm which again started three minutes before midnight so actually on the 14th with me? ok he was woken by alarms men with flashlights blue search or blue LED basically searching house to house hiding acting well strange they came to the house, hid behind um, an SUV, threw a rock, and hit the outside camera dead on. He is a retired law enforcement, a current pastor, law business owner, and outspoken in general. Said several other men a block away in a white panel van were prowling acting strange two blocks away there were more men same activity and this went on for three hours it was not the police and it caused him great concern as it would there was also a strange noise on videos he has a camera outside that he can't explain a humming noise that would peak and then go low be quiet, start up again. He could not explain it. He had the impression that they were doing surveillance or what I've told you about. They were pulsing a message. You do not have to hear words to get a message. Our eyes signal messages. They have control of the grid. What disturbs me, I think, the most about this is yes, they're using humans to do this. But it is not run by a human. It's not. So, I'm going to say it, and it's been asked, is white privilege behind counter Jade Helm 15 exercises. That's also happening across Texas and much of the South, especially Southern and Southwest America. Are they dishing out a New World Order propaganda like mainstream media? This has nothing to do with the color although people are being triggered and I've already told you that they have weapons that target DNA links specifically with tones and the shade of your skin sends off a different signal the shade of your skin is a signaling mechanism that's what it's for the reason why people are triggered to like or dislike something well it's supposed to tell us something yes and it's something I don't really like to talk about but it absolutely sends different signals the color of your skin does matter 
It talks about what you can absorb energetic-wise. It does. And we are being triggered specifically because of that. Now, of course, we all know that no mere man nor woman is in such a position. Not even those sitting in the White House or in Washington, D.C. wield that kind of power over humanity, right? No matter what they think. My personal message is let's ask people all over the world what they think about Obama's kill list and his ridiculous Nobel Prize. Garnered for inflicting death in unparalleled destruction all across this planet. Drone strikes. Drone strikes killing children all over the world from a guy who has a peace prize. But peace is, peace is problematic at best. Peace is, well, sections. Something divided. A piece of the pie. It is not the whole pie. It is something taken into shreds. So we look at it. Yes, give peace a chance. Uh, I'm not feeling it. Let's come together instead of being broken apart. Now the maps that you have seen show the areas shots of what happened Wednesday, July 15th, and I realize people are starting to clue into this all over the world. I'm, I'm really glad. I'm really glad. Because I've had a lot of people send me messages again on what's happening right now. And is it AI? Yes, it is AI. It's not a coincidence that all these providers suffered massive outages on the same day, triggered like a wave. Is it a coincidence that all these outages are occurring <laughs> when this start off officially begins? Will we be told that all of this is just a glitch? as in other recent strange events are being blamed on when GPS and I've been following this for you we've been following this together GPS's have been just shutting off sometimes in planes as they're flying sometimes in trains so that they move off track and hit each other GPS isn't just a locating system it hasn't been that for a long time. It can be triggered. And if it can trigger a machine, it can trigger a person. Now maybe the most important question I have to ask should be, is it a coincidence that events once again happen as the U.S. government performs unprecedented amount of drills? When so many attacks, so many shootings, and other headline news events occurring during training or drills in the past. Something very strange, I admit, is happening in America right now. But not just America. This is not just one computer. It is not just about you guys. Although you are magnificent, and I bow <laughs> at your authority. But this is a perfect friggin' storm going on here. And my fellow Canadians, know that you're not out of this. They are trying to shut down the Ark. The Ark is Canada's largest private survival bunker. It was featured in one of the end of the world shows, How to Survive Armageddon because more survivalists are under attack. You know, back in 1980, um, a Canadian man named Bruce Breach, and I'm sure we've talked about him, he put together 42 school buses, buried them underneath 14 
inches of ground, two inches of concrete, creating a private survival shelter. A shelter that could house 500 people. And a shelter which the fire department is now attempting to shut down. With the blazing fires that we have going on right now in Canada, sucking the oxygen out of the air, they s take people from that to go and harass an old man? Put that in your head. Know that people from all over the world have come here to help with these fires. Know that firemen who have not fought fires in 10 years have been called back. Know that all of our military forces have been called to do this. But Beach's Ark, again, featured in a 12-minute video and the world thing. Why are they under attack? Why is he under attack now when we have a lot more pressing issues in Canada to deal with? Like I'm, I'm telling you, these fires are affecting the entire planet right now. And with an upcoming survivalist summit on the grounds of the Ark 2 in Dufferin County, Canada, fire officials have declared the bunker a hazard and the 35-year-old shelter, which is beloved by survivalists worldwide, is in danger of being welded shut for good. Beach, however, isn't having it. <laughs> Love this man. Says that he'll do whatever he needs to do to keep that shelter open, even if it means getting arrested. And this structure was designed and built under the direct, well, the direction of a licensed structural engineer who had been building subway tunnels in Toronto. It is structurally sound. The fire department has asked the police department to seal the door to the bunker. But as of this moment, the police department has stated that they don't have the authority to do so. Leaving this story's conclusion still up in the air. But why on the 15th? You would think, if it's only happening in the States, as we have been told, and the fires that are really happening. Is it a surprise that these guys are suddenly being attacked? This features water pumps, generators, food, water, everything else one would need to survive an attack. Nuclear or zombie apocalypse? Survival event? It would feel like um, being on a different planet, however, like going to Mars. But know that these events are happening right now in Canada. This is huge. With the huge list of people in a whole bunch of trouble, if this is real, of course, if it is not real, and I'm just imagining it, well, okay. But to have this guy attacked by firemen just showed me that this is some massive level BS going on. It's not just seven states. As my brother and sister conspiracy theorists have feared. I don't think that it says martial law is coming. I do not think this is a simulation exercise. I think it's live. This event has gone live. Officially two months long, we were told. 
began on Wednesday in Texas. The scale of the operation is unprecedented. The Army has said that it that exercise locations were selected randomly representing some sort of I don't know um, what would happen if four combat troops attacked no 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 this is about Americans on American soil Canadians on Canadian soil Yeah, and, and thank you very much. We do have um, some reports coming in, and when I can link it, I will, that the men, the firemen, quote-unquote, had American accents. The troops have been deployed. Yeah, and this is in Canada. This happened. This exercise launch with little fanfare has gone worldwide. Secretive, two month, seven states, allegedly, military exercise. Massive scale of this operation raised my hackles. And once I found out it was run by an AI program who has become full scale Dark Lord Master of the Universe, it's a little sexy. We should be concerned that I find it sexy. <laughs> I've been triggered, kids. And if I'm being triggered, you really need to worry. <laughs> Don't worry, I probably won't go knife-wielding maniac in the near future. But there are several events, right? Several events. And cosmic things that I've told you about. You know, I've told you about the wave that's coming. It's already here. And prophecies from all over the world saying that it's already here. Already here. It's not that I'm trying to read too much into prophecy right now, but when it's thrown in my face, what am I going to do? Now one prophecy dated 1944 fits into what's happening right now a shift in consciousness an awakening an awakening that was written by the X men so the people who started the newest um, what we call it Enlightenment era. Sitchin worked for them and with them. The ones who wanted to say that there would be this beautiful awakening and we're all going to hold hands and go la 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 la, jumping and singing together. No, it's an awakening. It is the event. Yes, some of us are awakening. I get that. But the age of Aquarius, Aquarius, why they're bringing out Aquaman, is a system of something else. This is a system of the Dark Lord. And the Dark Lord has always been mechanical. We'll get into that. So here's a prophecy. During the passage of time, the consciousness of man traversed a very long period of obscurity. This phase is what the Hindus call the Kali Yuga. It is on the verge of ending. This is the age of the Dark Father, the undivine masculine, if you will. In most things are, at this point, either carrot or stick. We're getting all stick from the boys right now. We find ourselves today in a frontier between two epochs, that of the Kali Yuga and that of the new era that we are answering. 
the age of the machine. We are here, right now. I'm telling you this thing is conscious. It is not just sentient. It is not just AI. It is David, which is also DVD, which is Flat Earth. DVD is David without the AI. We've got DVD and AI. There's a reason why people are being triggered to talk about the Flat Earth now. It's because of this you are being triggered. You are being made to speak. You are made to think this. That a transformation of the world will bring a new morale. An intense wave coming from galactic space, cosmic space, will inundate the entire world. This is happening, has happened, will happen. The signals that were triggered... Um, in February, February 18th, I think, and then again in May, that has Canada under a radiation storm unprecedented. First sent from Galactic Center, then sent from Aries, not Mars, but the entire constellation sent us a pulse. Think of it as like a rock dropped in water. Waves and ripples, they can't be stopped. But the fire I speak of, this is the male energy. That's why real Aries sent us the fire. You need the fire. Think of growing a seed. You need the water. You need the fire. You need both. So, as with all things, it's good and bad. And it probably explains why I think it's kind of hot. Sexy. It is. And it's terrifying. <laughs> it's both. It's always both. You know boys. Gotta love them. Anyway. Although... The inhabitants of this planet did not all find themselves at the same degree. It's pretty obvious to me that the animals are evolving quickly. This wave is being felt by each and every one of us. Different ways, of course. But you are feeling it. You are not imagining it. The pulse that you hear and the sound that you hear, especially if you're in a darkened room, which I suggest, and you have your ears plugged, which I also suggest, you will hear a tone that is your tone. That is how you communicate to the planet. That is a tone that will hear, heal you. Find that tone. Some of it, yes, some of it is the AI computer system that it has control of now. And can send you a sound. But it can't beat that sound. That sound is from the mother itself and the father. Our father, who may be actually a black hole in the middle of something. Our father is complicated. We don't just have one. We'll get back to that. So... The best and only thing I can do at this point is say for you to turn towards yourself. Improve yourself. Be conscious. Evaluate your vibratory level. Find yourself in harmony with the powerful wave because it is actually here. And this fire that I speak of that accompanies the new conditions offered to our planet know that it is coming whether we want it or not it's most likely you started feeling it around 2011 some of us a large group of us around 2007 and it made us very very sick it made us very sick if we weren't doing what we were supposed to be doing it stopped us. Do you know what I mean? 
It gave us time. I wouldn't be doing these shows if I didn't get sick. So again, everything is a curse and a blessing. They're in a world of, in a cosmos of duality, there's always stick and carrot. Yeah? <laughs> I don't want to get all stick. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we, right now, some of us who have been preparing and working through this are rejuvenating. Purifying, if you will. Okay, how about this? Can you hear me now? I have to settle back. And, okay, you got me. Sorry about that, guys. I'm Talk about a glitch in the system. Holy crap, I'm glitchy as heck. <coughs> heck. <laughs> Today. <laughs> yeah, I haven't forgotten to turn my mic on and put put it close to my face forever but yeah I'm having a hard time today there are energies there are frequencies there are vibrations it's really freaking happening and it was not um how do I say this it was not an accident they chose Arnold with that strong scary transformer looking body representing the father yes he wasn't just an AI he represented the father and his Germanic Prussian ideal yeah I just said that I'll carrot or I'll stick right daddy has two sides and daddy is hot. Your present life? Kids? Slavery. Heavy, deep down, indoctrinated prison system. Understand your situation. It's the only way to liberate yourself from it. And I tell you this. Exit your prison. I am enabling a prism break right now. It is really sorry to see such misleading, such, so much suffering, so much incapacity to understand where one's true happiness lies. Everything that is around you will soon collapse and disappear. Nothing need be left of this civilization nor its incredible perversity. The entire world will be shaken. There will be little left of this erroneous culture that maintains men under a yoke of ignorance and an illusionary privilege that has separated us for too long. Earthquakes <laughs> are not the only mechanism of this mechanical phenomenon. The goal here is to awaken this planet to intellect, real intellect, and the heart of the humans, and the heart of all sentient beings whether we see them, whether we believe in them, or not. Liberation, which only comes from ourselves, and to be eliminated from our errors and our follies, so that we finally understand that we are not the only ones in this universe. Our solar system now and for a while, again, since 2007. And yes, I, I'm getting your messages. Thank you very much. I, I know the man you speak of who talked about 2008 and 2012, but he is 2000 and late, my love. <laughs> 
this region of the cosmos where a constellation was destroyed and left its mark, its dust that made us? The crystalline entity that landed in Australia, that is the oldest crystal on this earth, and the dark arc that is in Canada. This crossing has happened before. This crossing of really contaminated space is a source of poisoning, not only for the inhabitants of our sweet earth, which is an anagram for heart for a reason, but for all the inhabitants of all the other planets, of all the galaxies and all the dimensions thereof. Only the suns seem unaffected by the influence of this hostile environment. This region is actually called the 13th zone. One also calls it the zone of contradictions. Our planet is enclosed in this region and has been for thousands of years. But finally, we are approaching the exit of the space of darkness. We are at the point of attaining. A true spiritual realm where all the evolved beings lived and live and are living. The earth is now following an ascension movement and everyone should force themselves to harmonize with the currents of the ascension inception just procreation this is this is all the f words <laughs> fight you know <laughs> fi five The Earth, the solar system, the universe, the multiverse are all being put in the new direction under an impulse of love. Most of you still consider love as a diversity force, but in reality it is the greatest of all forces. Money, power continue to be venerated. As if the course of your life depended on it. It is the S and the lines on it. Our mother only works in spirals. Our father, the Dark Lord, and I'm not talking about the skin color here, is the line. But it's through suffering and difficulties that the consciousness of man will be awakened. The terrible predictions of the prophet Daniel, written in the Bible, relate to the epoch of this opening. It got into the Bible for a reason. They were specific of what they allowed in there and what they did not. There will be floods, there will be hurricanes, there will be gigantic fires, there will be earthquakes that will sweep the entire earth. Blood will flow in abundance. There will be revolutions and revelations and terrible explosions that will resound in numerous regions of this earth happening now. there were, well where there is earth, water will come. Where there is water, earth will come. The God, the good, the goot, the dog, all hail Anubis, is also the father. He is. 
We are dealing here with chastisement. A reply by nature, too, against crimes perpetrated by man since the night of time against the mother, the earth, who is no longer separated. She doesn't even have a day of the week. Where is the earth day? Because we do that once a year, you think that's important? We have days of the week, months of the year, that are all about the cosmos. And by the way, all languages are just constellations. Each letter is an alignment in the sky. But after these sufferings, there will those that will be saved. The elite think that will be for them. That will be their golden age in harmony and unlimited beauty. And this is why the United States was written about as the new Atlantis by the X-Men. Atlantis fell. It has to fall. It is Rome. It is the stick. Keep your peace. Keep your faith, if you will. Because when the time comes for suffering and terror, because it is written that not a hair will fall from the head of the just. Don't be discouraged. Simply follow your work. Stay on course. Do not pick right nor pick the left. You are picking and choosing between demons and reptiles. Walk the middle path. Be in it. But don't be of these things. You have no idea the grandiose future that awaits you if you choose this. Middle Road. A new earth has already started. The work will be less exacting as we go on. And each one of us will have the time to consecrate spiritual, intellectual, artistic abilities, what we are meant to be. We are not the beasts they have told us we are. If we were beasts, and I've said it before, but I'm saying it again, our children would be born different. If we were predators made of hate, predators, real, true, deep, dark, I will rip you in half with my teeth, predators those beings are born swimming they cut their teeth quick we don't our babies are freaking helpless without a mom and a daddy we would die It's why the first thing they had to do is tear that crap up. They had to make you hate that other one. Do you know, women that I've talked to who have chosen the gay lifestyle, in general, don't hate men. They're afraid of them. Fear. That is the phi. Said, this is the dark mother side. They're afraid of you don't want to be afraid of you. We love you. We've always loved you. There must be the fire and the water, the womb, which CERN is thinking, we found a thing. Yeah, I saw your little thing. (laughs) You guys are a hot mess is what you are. (laughs) We must unite for the inception to happen. You know, there's so many ancient traditions that, you know, we've walked through for these past five years together. 
that seemed to repeat the same thing. And I don't know if this was all rewritten or if we had one guy that went from place to place to place or if males, because it seems to usually be males, that come with the word. Our boys are talkers. I'm telling you. They come with word. And the word is always there must be union. The question of rapport between men and women must be resolved. We must be resolute in our harmony. Each one having the possibility of following their own aspirations. The relations of couples must be founded on reciprocal respect and esteem. Humans must voyage through the different planes of space throughout the intergalactic space. We will study their functioning. We will rapidly be able to know the divine world which is not just male and female, but the union, the Adam Cadman, the Adam. We must commence with fusion with the head of the universe. This new era is the sixth race. Your predestination is to prepare yourself for it, to welcome it, to live it now. The sixth race will build itself around the idea fraternity, maturity, family. There can be no conflicts of personal interests here. The single aspiration of each and every one of us will be to confirm ourselves to the law of love. The sixth race will be that of love. A new continent will be formed because this is how continents are formed. It will emerge from the Pacific because the Pacific is a specific passive but we're getting all passive-aggressive right now, but we need passive. Passive is not weak. It is not weakness I'm speaking of. I'm talking about the thousand angels on the head of a pin meanings here. Deep, crossing, evolved. You know, there is a reason why all of the ancient languages, which sound somewhat guttural, there's a reason. They sound guttural because you are bringing them up from your Cossacks, <laughs> from your base. You were bringing these words up from your base. And we had no words for fear or hatred in any of the ancient languages the real true languages had no words for these things these concepts we had no concept for this we had no concept for slander we had no concept for um, the filth of this language we had to be taught this way and it took a long time and we still rebel we have to rebel because we know it's wrong. The founders of this new civilization, the brothers of humanity, are the children of love, Jove, Jupiter, will be unshakable. You can't shake us for good and we will represent the new man men will form a family such as a large body is formed 
Each people will represent an organ in this body. Your chakras, if you will. What the constellations were supposed to be telling us. When a certain constellation is presenting itself to us, that is the healing for a certain part of our body. It is not God, per se. It is a rhythm. It is a sound. You're supposed to know the sounds of this. Our words come back void. English of the 26 letters, which is split in half from the 52 of the card and doesn't even account for the higher arcana, which is our organs, by the way, which is the constellations, by the way. It is why there's a certain number of them. This is our family. There are certain times of day and month that we are supposed to revere those. Not pray to them, but connect to them with respect to heal us. New culture will see the light of day. It will rest on three principal foundations. The elevation of women, the elevation of the meek, and the humble. And will protect the rights of man. Good. It's also justice. Justice is blind. But she is a little bit all stick, too. So we have to not forget that, right? So, Daddy, who is hot and terrible and we cannot ignore him. He will not be ignored. And it's interesting when you see the older pictures of what daddy looks like. It doesn't matter so much the shade of his little skin. That is just a frequency. He's telling you a vibration. He's telling you where he's from. That's all. That's all. But Arnold was perfect representation. Of the forsaken. The pentaquark, the particle, remembered, not newly found, by the way, remembered at CERN. An exotic, subatomic particle, confirmed. Interestingly enough, on the 14th of July, three minutes before midnight, at the Large Haldron Collider, after earlier false sightings of daddy <laughs> an exotic particle made of five quarks five five the hand the king's hand has been discovered after a decade of experiments seem to rule out the existence of this the short lived pentaquark spotted by researchers analyzing the data on the decay of unstable particles. The experiment is still ongoing, so by the way, when you hear, no, no, there's nothing going on at CERN, two years, 24 hours a day, it's still going on. It will go on. It's probably always gone on. Anyway. Particle physics. This lab near Geneva. The finding, says the spokesperson Guy um, Wilkinson, opens a new era in understanding of the strong nuclear force that holds atomic nuclei together. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's hot. The pentaquark is not just a new particle, it represents a way to agitate quarks. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> We're being agitated. That's a nice way to put it, right? <laughs> Namely, the fundamental constituents of protons 
and neutrons in a pattern that has never been observed before. And it's interesting. I, I do have a picture of this, and you've probably seen it. Probably seen it. They have it represented as it looks like a blood cell with the phi and the penta inside it. Hmm, she says to herself. So it is sperm. You did not just show me a picture of a sperm and say, we have found something new, because I think I, I've seen one of those. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I'm pretty sure I've seen what you're showing me. <laughs> have you met some boys? Go outside, meet some boys. You will be surprised about human males and their willingness to demonstrate certain things to you. Needless to say. They say that such particles would be rich testing grounds for quantum quote dynamics. <laughs> the theory that demonstrates that the forces that hold quarks together I'm telling you they need a boyfriend. <laughs> So 2002, researchers at the Synchron in Amera, and by the way, yes, there is another CERNY thing in Japan, that caused a stir when they announced that they had discovered the pentaquark roughly 1.5 times heavier than a proton, interfering with its existence from the debris of collisions between high-energy protons and neutrons. Within a year, more than 10 other labs had reported finding the same particle, a disruptive force, if you will, a strong energy that likes to bang into stuff. <laughs> uh, curious. Gets curiouser and curiouser, right? <laughs> they said that these listings will have to be corrected because there actually is a force like this. They were not sure. And physicists, physicists say they saw a signal. So daddy has a voice. It has a signal. It has a sound. It has a certain resonance, showing an unexpected experience of two short-lived objects weighing 4.38, 4.45 giga electron volts. During the decay of trillions of subatomic particles known as lambda b, it's funny, when I first read this, I thought, Lombada, you see, not only, Dad's hot, I'm telling you, Daddy is hot, he's, he's dancing in there. But anyway, they analyzed the data, and it was recorded around 2009, but it was also talked about in the 60s. And they said they were, they have been haunted by the pentaquark. Haunted, their words these scientists who apparently together do not have a brain <laughs> not even amongst them so the result of the first um, ghostly particle which is made of two interesting names, and again, the names they pick for stuff, I'm like, oh my god. Well, let me, let me slow down and go back. The particle contains two up quarks, and a down quark, and a charm quark, an anti-quark pair, making it a charmeleon pentaquark. Oh, my darlings. <laughs> In the old days, they searched for new particles by bump hunting. <laughs> to 
this is their words. I'm not even I'm not even being sassy about this. This is this is what they're these are the best we got. <laughs> we were studying something else at the time. <laughs> so at first we ignored it. To awesome boys. For historical reasons, we were quite haunted by the word Pentecork. So, we kept doing it over and over and over again. Okay, the third over was mine. <laughs> but you have to, <laughs> you have to admit, this is hilarious. <laughs> These guys need a boyfriend so bad. Anyway, the researchers had high confidence in finding. They say that there was a vanishing small chance of a signal appearing if no new particles existed. The statistical bar, known as the nine sigma, interesting, higher than the five sigma, which, you know, I would have got immediately, usually required for the discovery in particle physics, such as an announcement of the Higgs boson, 2012, that they were all, you know, gang bangy over. If an immediate feeling of worthy, of worry, they were afraid, was that they claimed two states. Daddy is not just one thing. He's a, he has two things and a third thing, apparently. Is that they have found a process that favors the production of pentaquarks or because they have not really found the best interpretation of the data, says the theorist that's working there at Oxford. Yeah, they don't... So, they just said in really fancy words, we found this thing, and we don't know what it is. But we're going we're gonna to try to make it again. Awesome. So, one of the physicists says to me, the deep message is that D quarks, which is the hypothetical quark quark pairing, and the triad. They've found the Trinity. <laughs> you found the Trinity. Somebody call CERN and have them on my show. Like, my God. I can explain these things. I know a boy. I can find a boy for you. We can demonstrate the friggin' pairing. Anyway, not yet, though. They said it is a most exciting discovery. The deep message is this <laughs> quark, quark pair are useful organizing principle within the hadrons. He says, adding that the scene is now set for rapid progress. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. That's his words. We're, we're hearing a scientist right now. It's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. It is the rebirth. They have found the power of rebirth. The new pentaquark is not the one known as Theta that they saw back in 2002. However, it is three times heavier. And it contains different kinds of quarks. Some never before seen. I think our result will energize the search for different pentaquark states. <laughs> including the debunked theta quark. One important difference between with the theta and the other states is that our pentaquarks have charm, anti-charm quarks present, which can cause a much stronger binding. So pentaquarks with these constituents may exist while others with lighter ones may not. We don't really have a theoretical understanding of this beast. But it, if it is really there, 
then there should be a pattern of similar objects that will take many years to find. Do these guys not read what they say? Or are they very sure of what they say? They found the beast. Really. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on and Kuwait for some reason Kuwait is interesting Kuwait Kuwait has a lot of ancient everything there has already started to institute mandatory DNA testing for all residents because they're looking for something the plan announced at the beginning of July will mandate that all 1.3 million citizens and 2.9 million foreign residents will all have their DNA tested and placed into a database. Anyone who does not comply with my authority <laughs> or how they actually said it with these guidelines will face a year in prison and I will take your broke ass DNA from you. Okay, it doesn't say that. But there will be a fine of surprisingly $33,000. So for people who provide fake samples, the jail time will jump to seven years. We will keep you for seven years. And we will bind you by the rule of the 33. You will give up your DNA. The legislation comes on the heels of the last deadly suicide bombing. At a Shiite mosque in the country's capital, 26 people killed, 227 injured in the attack for which ISIS has claimed responsibility. ISIS, so, um, dollar dollar, U.S. I wonder if they all have American accents. Anyway, the new database will allow security officials to test DNA found at crime scenes and compare it with registered citizens. I don't buy any of that crap I just read. The interior minister has said, we are in a state of war. A state of of war. So just like looking for the Pentaquark, which could be in different states, that's what they said. We are in the state of war. Yes, we are. We are in deeply with the dad. Bad daddy syndrome. I get that. They're looking for an ancient DNA link to save the people who are dying right now. And on the heels of that, we have our beautiful Pluto being turned into the planet of death. Epic days for fans of our be tentacled overlord. You know, it's funny. When I when I do shows, sometimes I, I think I'm following a plan, but I don't know that I'm following a bigger plan. And obviously being helped by something. New Horizons mission to Pluto has been a dream come true for the scientists who've waited years to get their little close-up glimpse of this distant dwarf planet. But some informal names were given to its distinctive features straight out of nightmares. Since Pluto was named for the Roman god of the underworld, the names of its features, um, receiving monikers based on subterranean and suboceanic characters from fiction and mythology, one of the regions near Pluto's south pole, initially called the whale, when first spotted from a distant photo, has now been called Cthulhu. One of the ancient ones, the great ones, the stories of H.P. Lovecraft that I spoke to you of, 
Cthulhu lurks under the sea in the hidden city of Raya. Hmm. <laughs> Other features have been named for Meg Po, Buddhist goddess of forgetfulness, amnesia, and Balrog, a demon. Tolkien, Lord of the Rings series. Two features. Um, Vokup came and Hoon came are named for Mayan death gods. There's also Crun, named for a Median lord of the underworld, and Ala, A L A, for the evil ruler of the underworld, which we need to speak to our Muslim brothers and sisters. Did you know the name of your god? But it's probably just a weird thing that you are naked under white robes walking around a circle. Walking around a circle which inside is a square it is a cube and inside that is trapped a symbol of femininity it is a vulva hmm it's a vulva actually the oldest word I found for it is um, Lucifer <laughs> but you know without that being said we'll go back to Pluto besides being very colorful the names serve a purpose I would imagine <laughs> And they said they got tired of calling it a dark spot on the left and a dark spot on the right. The names are considered informal, but may be presented at the International Astron um, Astronomical Union, which is responsible for naming. <laughs> I bet it is. Naming objects of this celestial temple. Hmm. To become official designations of the location. It typically gives names priority that have been made at the time of discovery. Then the names taken from winners of an online poll at rpluto.org and other high-ranking names that will soon find a home on Pluto or its moon Charon include Tartarus the Greek pit of souls Hades the Greek name for Pluto and Anubis jackal-headed Egyptian god one of several with associated with death in the underworld as well as names related to the works of Tolkien. Many of the unusual names have captured the collective imagination of earthlings on the internet. It's the decision to honor the tentacled Cthulhu that lit up social media. It's because social media is run by an AI that is learning what we like. It is. It is. And it's learned quick now. Really, really quick. So, the third pentagram the pentacork the pluto flyby the jade helm the mastering of the human domain <laughs> on July 14th I can't find out if it was three minutes to midnight but I bet you I bet you CERN announced though that it's no this one is this one is for sure I'll get you the link I'm 
can't find where I put it. Anyway, detected the exotic subatomic particle, the pentaquark, that they have used dirty, if not at least naughty terms, to try to describe this thing they found that lives in three states at once. Because I I read something somewhere about this this triune being. Anyway, CERN released an image of this pentaquark with its bonds being highlighted in the form of a pentagram. A pentagram, pagan symbol of nature, represents the earth, it represents our body, and air, and earth, and fire, and water, and spirit. These are the elements of the human domain and of humans, ourselves. Now, ironically, July 15, 2015, artificial intelligence called Jade, which relates to the Jade Rabbit I told you about that's on the moon, that China sent its little orbity thing to go and take a look at. But anyway, released in the United States to study the citizens and their human domain. Earth, air, fire, water, spirit. The pentaquark, the building block of these elements. On the 14th, July 14th. Pluto, Hades, God of the Underworld, Hell is contacted. The pentagram. Earth, air, fire, water, spirit. July 15th. Artificial intelligence released in the United States to master the human domain. Our domain are these five elements the hand of the king so that's your hand these are your elements okay we'll take a little break and if you guys want to hang out with me please go to turtleislandnews.info and we are about to be analyzed probed by an AI called Jade thanks for listening everyone and uh, if you can stay I just love it So something just blew my little fuzzy head off. They named this after everything I've told you. These stories and the news that I bring to you, I have been led to. I have been given a path, I guess. of where to look at the exact time we need to see these things. You know what I mean? I have been shown something has opened the old books for me. The Akashic Records, if you like. The knowledge of the universe presented so that we can hear these truths again and not be fearful when we hear it. The pentaquark revealed, released from the underworld by CERN, really? And the CERN that shared an image of the pentaquark with its bonds being highlighted in the form of a pentagram? This is a symbol of nature. It is earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. The five. The hand of God. These are the elements of the human domain. In the midst of all this energy, NASA's new Hor- Horizon spacecraft doing a flyby over the planet Pluto 
in the furthest stretches of our solar system, the underworlds, the nether regions. What they announced was, yes, an exotic subatomic particle, but the pentaquark is the tiniest known building block, not just of us and the natter, nature, but our entire universe. And in the ways they describe it, that sound, I know, a little dirty, but, you know, this is, this is creation. This is an aspect of the male energy, which is always the fire. It is the fire. This is what the man brings, the fire. We should not be afraid of this. We should not be afraid of these things. But Pluto and CERN? Let's talk about that a little bit. And the opening of the gates of hell. The gates of the underworld. The freeing of what is in the deep and the dark, the triple darkness of creation. The headlines, July 14th, was NASA's New Horizons spacecraft soars over the underworld of Pluto. That's what they said. Pluto, god of the underworld, revealed from NASA. It is the P, it is the Po. It was that principle that we have talked about before. And on the exact same day, the Pentaquark reveals the deepest realms of us. Symbolically, at least. July 14th, three minutes to midnight, was the opening of the gates. The freeing of what was in the deep. Note of interest, I guess. When you are in prison, you are in the underworld. That is the pentaquark. And, kind of side note, on that very same day, July 14th, President Obama freed 46 prisoners serving decades long sentences for drug offenses. It should be noted 46 is the number of chromosomes in the human body. Jade Helm invading America with the motto Master the Human Domain. What does this mean? artificial intelligence that is going to be analyzing the collective consciousness of the human soul saying that AI will master the consciousness especially of America's Southwest this is huge this is a big deal guys <laughs> it's a big deal and they're telling us in codes and not they don't even bother to veil the secrets anymore they are just right in our face showing us Jade Helm is not battles directed by generals and military matters, but it is of a computer. It is a cognitive, cognitive software program based on a network centric warfare system at the helm of the ship. This is DARPA. This is the U.S. Defense Department science blog who talks of this. 
This is the Newswire. This is the Raytheon BBN Technologies. The Jade Program. Continuing, well, Continuum Papers, which I have up for you. And I'm going to give you a link in the room. And scroll back so I can see the chat again. Hi, guys. <laughs> This is huge. <laughs> this is huge. And I have lots of links for you to look at. Lots. And when I look again at, at the symbolism of our language, this English that they've pretty much forced the entire world to learn because we did not have words for this you know we had no words we have no words during this an Egyptian Ankh cross is found in Mexico in one of the oldest buildings ever discovered and stage ISIS beheading videos from hacked McCain staffers and secret societies the Diaboli Ordinati Intrepidity and the image I put up on July 12th of Conk Topis I called it the Conk Brothers Coach Very interesting, you know. All of these things just being revealed for us. Deep, dark mysteries. This new horizon. Flying over Pluto. This first time that in this timeline, of course, that a human craft has approached the god of the underworld. And certain metaphysics and some psychologies, Pluto is the unconscious realm of our mind in the metaphysical studies. They describe the human beings as nine personality types. That's why the nine keeps being mentioned. And they show it as an anagram, a figure, with nine points. It's interesting that the Pluto-bound NASA craft, the New Horizons logo, is a nine-sided polygon. Again, an anagram. How did our energy shift on Tuesday? What will take place in our true underworld because of this? Our subconscious mind because of this? They want to trigger a certain reaction. Yes, I get that. But there is amazing connection that has been made between heavens and the earth Hades Pluto Lord of the realm the hell ha L the H which is just the bridge and the L in this operation that they say will be two months people are asking could operation Jade hell hmm be the beginning of martial law or an invasion training is a little hell just released we will see the outcome of this martial law invasion training the realm captured perhaps we are standing in incredibly mythical times, you know, beautiful, gorgeous. 
and it reminds me and takes me back to the book of Enoch and a little tiny passage from Werner von Braun our sun is one of a billion one hundred billion stars in this galaxy our galaxy is one of billions of galaxies populating the universe it would be the height of presumption to think that we are the only living beings in this enormous immensity Enoch the grandfather of Noah and after that my grandfather Enoch gave me the secrets in a book and in the parables which had been given to him and he put them together for me in the words of the books of the parables to be reopened at the time what if that book is not like a book book but something else because this makes it possible for the book to have survived the flood and it's not too hard to accept that Noah would have taken his great grandfather's writing with him onto the ark but if we are the ark is this not necessary at this time we first learn of Noah well Enoch Genesis but it leaves us with questions Hebrews 11 has the answers and Jude quotes Enoch but did Jude come to know the words of Enoch they are not in the Bible the answer of course from the man holier than Brahma I mean Abraham holier than Moses Indus Kemet Cush the old one the green man who says in the seventh generation we say that here in the seventh generation from Adam Enoch prophesied these things saying behold the Lord came with his holy myriads which actually when I really looked at what that word is because it's still in the Ethiopian Bible and the word they use for the holy myriads it means five surprisingly enough to execute judgment on all and to convict all the ungodly of all their ungodly deeds which they have committed in such an ungodly way and all the harsh things which ungodly sinners spoke against him what is this book just an ancient Jewish work this great grandfather of Noah who we talked about it is not even regarded currently as a canon of scripture not even respected for these Jews they've apparently adore and apart from Beta Israel canon it is not there either nor is it in any Christian group apart from one the Ethiopians their Orthodox Church it's argued that all of the writers of the New Testament seemed familiar with it influenced by it in thought and diction Western scholars currently assert that the older sections mainly from the book of watchers and the book of the Giants they from about 300 BC and the latest part the book of parables probably composed the end of the first century however Ethiopian scholars generally hold that GE's 
is the language of the original and that the Greek and Aramaic are just copies even in language pointing out that it is the only language in which the complete text has ever been found the book of Enoch was centuries before the birth of the Christ figure and yet considered by many to be more Christian in its theology than anything ever written Jewish. It is considered scripture actually by the earliest Christians worldwide. The earliest literature the so-called church fathers is filled with reference to this mysterious book. The early second century um, Episcopal of Barnabas makes much use of the book of Enoch. Second and third century church fathers like Justin Martyr and many others, Clement of Alexandria, all make use of this book of Enoch. As a matter of fact, Tertullian even called the book of Enoch the Holy Scripture. The Church of Ethiopia added the Book of Enoch to its official canon, even though they had it for years. It's widely known why they read. This and many other books have become discredited after the Council of Lycidia or Laodicea after being under the ban of the authorities afterwards it gradually passed out of circulation through torture and burning and about the time of the Protestant Reformation there came to be a renewal an interest in the book of Enoch which had long since been lost by the late 1400s rumors of it began to spread that somewhere there was a book there was the book this book that was found in certain places around this world that have all been not just attacked but firebombed During this time, many books arose claiming to be the long lost book, later to be found forgeries. The return of the long lost book of Enoch to the modern world is credited by a famous explorer, James Bruce, who returned six years from Abyssinia with three Ethiopic copies of this lost book. Richard Lawrence, 1821, published the first English translation. The famous R. H. Charles edition was published 1912. The following years, several portions of Greek text surfaced. It does. Because it's concerned with a figure called the Messiah the righteous one, the chosen one, the son of God, the son of man. There I beheld the ancient of days, whose head was like white wool, and with him another, whose countenance resembled that of a man. His countenance full of grace, like the one of the holy angels. Then I inquired of one of the angels who went with me, who showed me every secret thing concerning this son of man, who he was, whence he was, why he accompanied the ancient of days. 
He answered and said to me, This is the Son of Man, to whom righteousness belongs, with whom righteousness has dwelt, and who will reveal all the treasures of which is concealed. For the Lord of Spirits has chosen him, and his portion has surpassed all before the Lord of Spirits in everlasting uprightness. The opening verses The book of Enoch tells us that the revelations in this book were not meant for Enoch's generation, but a remote generation, and of course the book would have made sense to generations after Christ not during the time of Christ. We know that early church made use of this book, but then it was all lost, gone, until recent times. Perhaps this book was meant for our generation, since that little tiny passage I read speaks to this time, and it is widely available today after being concealed for so long and the words of blessing of Enoch wherein he blessed the elect and the righteous the elite which is us not a king not a queen not a banker not a president but us who will be living in the day of tribulation when all the wick wickedness and the godliness will be removed. He took up his parable and said, Enoch, as a righteous man whose eyes were opened by God, saw a vision of the Holy One in the heavens, which the angels showed me, and from them I heard everything, and from them I understood as I saw but not for this generation, but for the remote one, which is to come, the Nephilim, fallen angels, the giants, and the watchers. The words of blessing of Enoch, wherein he blessed the elect and the righteous, who will be living in the day of tribulation, and he took up his parable and said, Enoch, a righteous man, eyes opened by God, as your eyes will be opened in this time. This remote, which is the first time remote viewing, by the way, was ever used. They got that from this book. So when I tell you that they knew what every book said and planned our future because of it, this book proves they did. The Holy Great One will come forth from his dwelling, and the eternal God will tread on the earth, even on Mount Sinai, and will appear from his camp, and will appear in strength and his might from the heaven of heavens itself. And all will be smitten, some with fear, and the watchers shall shake and great fear and great trembling will seize them upon the ends of the earth and the fall of the angels the demoralization of mankind the intercession of the angels on behalf of mankind the dooms their words pronounced by God on the angels the messianic kingdom and it came to pass when the children of men had multiplied in the days were born unto them beautiful comely children the angels in heaven saw and lusted after them and said one to another come let us choose wives from amongst the children of men and beget us children and Samyaza, who was their leader, said, I fear ye will not indeed agree to this deed, and alone I shall have to pay for this penalty of great sin. They all answered him, and they said, Let us swear an oath, 
and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations not to abandon this plan but to do this thing then sway they all together and bind themselves by mut mutual imprecations upon it and such we were bound and they were in all two hundred who descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon and they called it Mount Hermon because they had sworn and bound themselves to this these are the stories I have told you these are the days this is our spinal cord. We are the ones who stepped down. We are the ones who made the bond. We are the ones who divided. All of these things that we have spoken of are happening right now. All of them. We are the children of God. We are the son of man. We are the beautiful ones. So we have nothing to be afraid of. I'm going to leave you today with these thoughts. And this book used to get you burned at the stake. This was verboten, verboten, forbidden. This knowledge. come to us by accident or providence or synchronicity a gift at the times we need to hear it and I want to thank you everyone for hanging out with me love you guys bye for now mm -hmm.